Hey everyone, and today I'll be getting into ESETNOD32, an antivirus that's built a strong reputation for offering fast scans, strong protection, and an interface that's simple to use without slowing your system down. It's a solid choice for anyone who's run into issues with heavier antivirus software and had things like pop-ups, slow performance, or confusing settings. ESET takes a cleaner approach, focusing on the essentials and staying out of the way. But depending on what device you're using and how much coverage you need, it might not be ideal for everyone. So in this video, I'll walk you through the different plans, real world performance, some user feedback, and whether ESA is going to be the right fit for your setup. Okay, so ESET's been around since the late 80s, and it keeps your system protected, doesn't slow things down, and stays out of the way when you're working or browsing. They've also consistently ranked high in independent lab tests from AV comparatives and AV tests, which basically means their protection isn't just marketing, it's been verified over and over again. It's especially popular with people who've been using Windows for a while, and that's partly because it's easy to use, but also because it feels solid. You install it, set it up, and that's pretty much it. It's a reliable antivirus that handles the important stuff without needing much from you. Now, one thing I appreciated right away was how quick the setup was. It just took a couple of minutes and it was ready to go. The dashboard is super clean and everything's labeled clearly, so you're not going through endless menus just to tweak one setting. ESET also runs quietly in the background, but it's always active, scanning in real time, blocking sketchy websites, and watching for anything suspicious without throwing constant pop-ups at you. Even the basic essential plan covers all the key protections, viruses, ransomware, and phishing, and automatically updates its virus definitions, so you never have to think about it. You can also customize how it behaves, whether you want deeper scans, schedule checks, or to exclude certain folders, which I found useful when editing videos or running heavier software. ESET also adds amazing extras, like a firewall that activates automatically in public Wi-Fi, a webcam protection to block unauthorized access, and a network inspector that shows every device connected to your Wi-Fi. That's actually been handy for finding random smart devices that were still connected to my router. Now, if you upgrade to a higher tier plan, you'll get more privacy tools like a password manager, photo metadata cleanup, and an unlimited VPN, all managed through the ESET Home app. It's smooth and straightforward, no complicated installs, and you can manage all your devices and license from one dashboard. The only thing I would keep in mind is that the mobile protection is limited, especially on iOS, since the app is focused on two-factor authentication instead of full antivirus scanning. And while parental controls do block certain categories or URLs, they're still pretty basic and not as advanced as what you'd find in a dedicated parental control app. And hey, if you're thinking about giving it a try, I'll leave a link in the description. Usually we've got better pricing there than you'll see on their main website. All right, so that's all well and good, but how much does it cost? So there are a few different options. First up is the ESET Nod 32 antivirus plan for one device, which costs $40 a year if you only want to use it for your Windows computer or Mac. Then there's the Essential Plan, which is perfect if you're looking for basic security. You're getting 24-7 real-time protection, safe browsing, and device control. And that's all for about $60 a year. It's a great choice if you just need to cover three devices. Next up is the Premium Plan, which includes everything in the Essential Plan, plus some great extras, like a secure password manager and data encryption for files and photos. This one's priced at about $80 a year but it's great if you need that extra layer of security. And if you're looking to protect multiple devices, the Ultimate Plan covers up to five devices for around $180 a year. It's a great option for families or anyone with a lot of devices to protect. You also get a few extra tools like browser and privacy protection, proactive identity protection, and ransomware defense and recovery. Then for businesses, there's the Small Business Security Plan, which costs about $180, a year for five devices. And if you need more advanced endpoint protection, they've got options that go up to $211 built for teams managing lots of devices. And every plan comes with some standout features like a ransomware shield to block any malware trying to hijack your data and advanced scanning options to choose between quick or in-depth scans, anti-phishing tools to keep your personal information safe while browsing or shopping online, and a network inspector to monitor your home Wi-Fi and see who's connected to it. And if you're still 
on the fence, there's a 30 day free trial and they've got a money back guarantee too. So it's easy to test it out for yourself. So wrapping this up, if you'd ask me, I'd definitely recommend ESET. It's reliable, it's lightweight, and it focuses on the stuff that actually matters. You're getting fast scans, strong protection, and a setup that doesn't weigh your system down. And once it's running, it just quietly does its thing in the background. If that's what you're after, this is one of the better options out there. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're thinking about trying it, you can check out the link in the description as we usually have better deals than what you'd find directly on their website. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you've got questions or want to share how it's worked for you, feel free to drop a comment. I try to reply to as many as I can. Also, if you're interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.